Each winter, a new storm bent on our shoreline and damage bloomed wild. When the neighbors left, we stayed, watching the seawall recede stone by stone. The windows of other houses grew closed, boarded, as ours glowed through each night, begging for it. A line corseting our home thinner from where the water scaled stained and entered through the windows. Our small peninsula of land caught between the bay and the gray Atlantic. There was no hope. Gulls nested on the barren island of our roof, cracking blue crabs on battered shingles. The waves gnashed up our welcome mat. Silver-sided minnows gasped on our doorstep. My father grinning like a madman lost at sea when he'd wait out to get the mail. The floating garbage barrels spinning over and over like pigs on a spit. Over the years, everything grew larger around us. The school lifted by two cranes, the church tilting on 17 stilts. One barn moved half an acre back, the foghorn giving up mid-January, the lighthouse rolling its neck like a drunk. We lived with the smell of the tide thick in our sweaters. A pair of swans floating underneath a barnacled swing set, the moon a dumb eye, watching our home inch closer and closer to the breaking of waves, chewed by salt, slowly disappearing. My mother with her two palms pressed to the window, fogging the glass with the small weather of her breath. 